I needed to get it right because there's thousands of people looking to see the statue finished and complete and it has to be right. The, the process for me is um, you're working from photographs. Every photograph is taken from a different angle or a different time. So it's almost like an accumulation of all of those photographs to try and capture the character. The image was quite an iconic one. It was, it was, it was a Jimmy talking to two of the babes in between them. And he was obviously extolling passion and drive and commitment and determination from them. He was a great uh, inspiration to the lads. He was a great team talker. He was a, a motivator. Um, and this photograph shows him, just come on lads, you know, this is what I want you to do. Um, and so that was, for me, the only pose it could be. He had to be in a tracksuit. I mean, Jimmy was always in rags. His tracksuit top was in rags. So that's what we've got on the statue. Now, in my case, I tend to use polystyrene foam and I build up on that framework and you can carve that back, build it up and carve it back. So at the end of the day, I ended up with a very accurate carving of the figure. The whole uh, statue is then handed over to the foundry and it's the mold making process. Once that's done, the foundry have a, a deep pit full of sand that's all dug out and the, the actual plaster is then covered with corrugated paper and then it's buried in the sand so that when the crucible is presented with the hot bronze. So once that's done, once it's poured, it's cooled, it's dug back out again and the outer case is smashed off. So the statue's made in various sections, welded together and those welds are then chased through to become invisible. It is a complicated process, I've made it very simple there. Uh, but it is, <laughs> it, it, it's, it's quite complicated. <laughs> this has been an, an incredible honour for me and uh, I've always said I'll die happy, um, but I have to know that everybody is absolutely happy, particularly the family. I must know that they are happy with it. This is a great tribute. Nothing there to teach a generation of kids growing up, but now they see a statue alongside Alex Fergus and Sir Apple being, and they want to know what's, what's his story like, and it'll, hopefully for generation after generation it'll be a story that'll last. I'm proud of doing the job, I'm proud of actually producing a statue that the family's happy with. That's the main objective and I hope that the club and the fans will be happy with it. A huge day, not just for the family, but for the club, for the, the fans. fans. The fans are the most, most important thing. The fans, that's what, that's what counts the most. But to walk into this place where Alan works and see this, it is such an honour. It's incredible. It's, it just, just blows you away. People are easily forgotten. Statues are always there. Unequivocally, as far as I'm concerned, I think that's quite the best statue I've ever seen. It's incredible, it really is. I was pretty certain it would be emotional one way or another. I thought we'll get a reaction, and of course, we had the reaction that we hoped we would get, which was, um, in, in particular, Paul was, was, was quite touched. And that's gratifying. Very emotional. They all were. I mean, I walked in and shed a tear and, uh, in front of you guys who've never met before. It's just a really emotional because it is grandad. You know, and, uh, he's captured his spirit. So, 